It's Gen G versus Gen G. Yep. They just took Gen G and then sprinkled in some world champions and Keen. And then boom, you got a matchup. Hammer Life has world champion mid, world champion AD. And Gen G is the same, except they have world champion jungle and Keen and Lens. Azira disabled. Hell yeah. Senna ban, Maokai ban, Vi ban. Lee Sin ban against Canyon. Holy. Varus ban, nice. Have to ban Kalista now, then they're going to get first pick Lucian. Or first pick Sejuani. Or first pick Orianna. With Azira being down. I think they have these three options. But if they don't take Lucian, for example, I think Humble Life will probably slam Lucian. Mm, I don't think. I think it's fine because Chobi can play Talia, right? Chobi can play Talia, Yone, Tristana. I think they can go Tristana here. Zeri. Why are they picking Zeri with Viper? Just go fuck Lucian. Are they going to deny Tristana? Tristana denial is pretty good. I would love... What I would love from Genji here is is, is Zyra Khan. I would love that. Zyra Khan would be great. They might go... Actually, Maokai is down. Nautilus is really good for them here. Nautilus is really good. Zyra Khan, Lucian Nami. They have a lot of good options. The reason Nautilus is good is the only lockdown for Zeri. I think Lucian Nami, Zyra Khan, or Nautilus. You have three options. Lucian Nami. Okay, well, they're going to go Lulu. Lucian Nami, Zeri, Lulu. I'm in a loop! I'm in a time loop! 2022, 2024! What's 2026 gonna be like? <laughs> Alright, they can start banning out mids here. I think Talia ban is really good. LeBlanc's really good ban as well if you're playing these three champs. No lockdown, hardly any engage. Then they can ban any any junglers that are good in Sejuani. Mm, what would Peanut play? Ivern? Yeah. I think Rel's more important than Poppy because they need engage, right? Poppy. Oh, Hui ban's not bad, but they'll get Talia, Cassante. I think Rel ban here is better because if they ban Poppy, if they, ban, if they get Poppy, it's fine because they have no engage. How are they ever going to engage on Lucian? They have Talia, they have Tristana Poppy. Rel ban is really good. Now they need engage somewhere. How do they get engaged on four? Jarvan's trash. Ooh, Zack. Zack flex into Cassante blind plus engage. Okay, they have a few options here. They have Oriana Nocter. They have, actually, no, they have Sejuani. They have Oriana, no, Oriana's trash. Talia, I think Yone. I think Talia's best, like I said earlier. Talia Cassante would just be classic Gen G. It could do Talia Aatrox, but I don't know if I like Aatrox here. He could also do Udir, but Rumble's trash. What are you gonna do? Triple AP topside? Jack, Doran, don't. He's just gonna pick Cassante. He's Doran. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I think, I think Malphite is good here. Cassante. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Who won draft? You think? I kind of like Hammer Life's draft a little bit better. I don't trust this uh, Lucian Nami hands, picking to Zach Cassante, especially if he's going to go static rapid fire. But let's see, Talia can... The thing is, Talia doesn't have that much to follow up on. I guess Sejuani ult can work, but I actually think Tristana Merc threads this game goes pretty hard. Is Nico still disabled? Yeah, I think she is. Wait, Nico and Azir are disabled. What the hell? Let's see, though. I'm not sure how the fights play out with Talia versus Zach, but it feels like Zach, it's kind of hard for him to jump on enemy team with Talia Sejuani. Like, Sejuani is actually really good into Zach. You can just queue his E every time he's about to land. Oh, no dash on Lucian. They're getting ganked by a level 3 Zac. Oh, he flashed. Oh my god, that flash from Pace was trash. That was a big mistake by Genji bot lane. Chovy is clapping mid though. And Keen's proxying. So solo lane situation is not great. Here comes Canyon's invade though. Smart to ward red and go to Crux because Zac will be checking his red buff. And if he sees his red buffs empty, he'll think, ooh, maybe I can start red here. But little does he know. Oh, but they see him. How did they see him? Did Keen pull the wave too close to the Crux so that Zac got... Oh my god, he just went mid. I think Keen into the wave so that they saw Sejuani on Crux. Oh, that's really unlucky. He ran from bot to base, ran into his red, ran through it, ganked mid, got Chobi flash, and now he's on enemy Krugs. Oh, plus 70. Oh my god. Don't be a first blood Andy. It's not first blood Andy, it just relieves a lot of pressure in bot, right? Like, I think Zeri Lulu should get the push, but because jungle's weaker, it looks like they gave the push. Now Lucian having no flash means that they can be pretty safe in bot. They're getting Drake for, for on bot side as well, which is kind of nice. I think Sejuani, Lucian, Nami clears, and the fact that they're getting early Drake is really good for them. 
they knew this game actually looks really hard for Hamo Life. I'm not sure if this is the way this game is supposed to go, but mid looks... Zekka can't really do much in mid. Top's perma pushed in, and bot Lucian Flash is just coming up. So on the next few waves, I think they can start the pressure if uh, Sejuani clears down, which he should do, but she's going to lane gank top quick. But if they can get out of lane phase, maybe they're okay. <laughs> there is a canyon behind you. <laughs> And there is the glacial prison. That's gonna guarantee <laughs> Crazy, bro. Canyon is like... This guy is division toggle legend. I swear, every time you watch Canyon play, he always does something, like, really weird. He either, like, knows their timings perfectly, or he just, like, plays with vision really well. If you watch him a lot, you'll just notice he does these things somehow. He's actually fun to watch because he's just really sneaky. Oh, Doran's angry. Does find the charge up, doesn't get the slows on that one anymore. Whoa, that's insane pressure top Keen, though. Good job, Doran. Big old crash, and he's running Keen? at him. It's gonna be the oh, Keen's dead actually. Is he anymore. dead? He's trying to get his health back. Oh. On the and Doran really wants more. He gets the flag, oh. up, but there's the kill. Oh. Doran actually. Oh my god, Keen, you can't get solo killed in this matchup. Barely. After getting a that's gank as well. Well played by Doran. Right, what the hell's going on down here? He is very, very close to dead and will be wiped out How the, the fuck did this happen? The boys are coming, up, but I don't think they can get her in time. By the enemy, uh, or any okay. oh, um, Peanut is in a rough spot. He does have this, Big this mistakes. The, the cell thing Big mistakes. This Zack pick is... Uh, oof. Is down, was... When are we getting Zekka you know, Yone again? Just ban Talia, pick Akali Yone, please. Zekka impact is so much different. Look at mid CS considering Talia's roaming as well. But he, he doesn't want to accept that. Bro, coach need to just start forcing him on these champs. Pina just clearing a ward. Just gets Talia comboed. It's like, what? Here comes bot dive again. Talia is up two waves and still diving bot. Viper POV. He loves it. Just lived. Oh god. Now Talia is back to mid in time. Zekka is all in. Flash. Oh my god, he cancelled his auto for the reset. That was a kill. Oh god. He shouldn't ult him, he just needs to auto attack there and he has him. Chovy is just Chovying, man. Considering he's dove bot twice, his CS numbers are crazy. I can't get bot here on for Herald. So, Genji are winning through lanes, which is expected. But I'm scared for Genji's damage share later on, but let's see how it goes. Get jumped on here, oh, he eat the jacks. Oh my god, now he can't hit the tower because he had aggro from the explosion. So Alright, they got it. They didn't get it. Oh my god, the please don't tell me they're not gonna get Zekka, man. Why is he eating the jacks? Now they can't get bot tier 1. And now Genji can move bot, push the Zack, Tristana out, and take their bot tier 1. It's crazy. Like, small things like this just snowball into, like... If he eat the tower, it would have hit the wave as well, so they'd have no wave to play on. So now they lose their tower and Hamalife gets nothing. So a gold lead that should have been like plus 300, plus 400, whatever it may be, is now minus that. So it's it's double, so it's minus 6. It's fine though. They'll get, they'll get, uh, they'll get bot tower eventually. Jinx Zek has a fraud? No, I just think he should just play melee champs. As much as it's a meme, it's like, um, it's like, huh? 40 seconds on Drake. Ooh, Doran. Oh, maybe if he ghosted earlier, he could have killed him there actually. The problem is he needs to be faster to get behind her to WR, right? And she has phase rush and he has no slow on his Q, so... Can he make a guide for Chovy CSing? I mean, I would, but I'm not allowed to get access to the files of the game anymore. I would love to get access to the files of the game so I can watch this back and, like, watch his POV, but I can't watch his POV. I used to be able to, but now you can't apparently get access to the game files. I asked for game files for an LEC game, like, oh, what a predict. Bro, Keen is carried this game. I'm just gonna say it. Doran gapped him so fucking hard. Absolute jungle diff merchant this game. I never thought I'd say this, but Doran is actually like hard stuck right now in this game. Viper's doing well as well. The fact that he's down 4 CS after being dove twice and having no mid laner is kind of impressive. Oh, they want to contest this. Um, okay. He's trying to get in there. Does actually pick up the Sejuani. Can maybe get Sejuani flash, but... Or maybe they get the kill. Flashes, nice, big kill for... Yes, Viper got the kill. For the Zeri, gets knocked up by oh, the shit, this hurts. Are they out, Ignite? Wait, they're out! <laughs> oh my god, they're out. 
Bro, Zeka, you're not allowed to play Tristana, you're not allowed to play Azir, you're not allowed to play Oriana, you're allowed to play Akali, you're allowed to play Silas, you're allowed to play Yoni, you're allowed to play fucking Galio, Seth, Renekton. Oh, Pace dashed into the wall, he would have killed that light. But I'm looking at Zeri's build as well now, and I'm like, hmm. Does that guy do damage? <laughs> Why do I feel like modern day AD carries, the items they build, they do it for like attack speed and wave clear? Like, for example, Lucian build last game, static shift, rapid fire. It's like pokey wave clear. Where's the. F I remember AD carry where first base, you get 1300 gold or 1350, you buy BF sword first base. Then you rush infinity edge. And then you go BT with, with Berserker Greaves. That was the real AD carry. That was the fucking big, big damage, big dick shit. BF sword first base. And Reckless was like the only AD carry that did boots tier 2 first base. when every, He went Berserkers first. When everyone would go BF sword. Was it 1650 or some shit? Yeah, maybe it was. And everyone was like, wow, Reckless is the only AD carry to go Berserker Greaves first base. When everyone else is going BF sword. And that was the analysis. It wasn't, oh, actually, he shouldn't build Collector here. Oh, IE is better. Oh, he should have gone Dominic's third. It was, does he have BF Sword on the first base? Does he have it? Oh, my God, he has BF Sword on the first base. 45 CS. He did it. That was the good stuff. Is Zeri building Shield Bow third? Is that the build? Static PD Shield Bow? Uh, actually, I think if you look at Sejuani's items, he should probably be going for Lord Dominix here, but I can understand why he goes for the... I feel like he does actually need Dominix this game, though. Maybe it's not that big of a deal, but... Yeah, that Sejuani is really accelerated. Frozen Heart Renduins, as much as it double stacks the... Um, the, the, the Rock Solid passive, I think it's really good against double crit and double AD carry. It's still good. It's good to stop the base, slow down their base, slows down their setup, and buy some time. Alright, here comes the Drake fight. Hamalife can drop this if they really want, but they have no top tier one to cross map and they can't threaten mid tier two, uh, mid tier one. So having no options to cross map means fighting is not bad. If you can get a steal, then you can probably get Dragon Soul. Outsmited. Peanut's hard chunked already, passive coming out. Nope, he shielded. Oh, Doran really well played. He's gonna die though. That ulti down, and somehow Doran survives for about forever. Still, Zekka is maybe a bit too deep there from the Doran, but the, the problem the dragon, in this fight here was Peanut, Peanut got so chunked that it was a 4v5. If Peanut there, didn't get chunked so hard, then he could have okay joined that fight and they had double front line so there, they could have done yet, a lot more. Look like They're gonna try and catch Peanut on the hex gate. Oh, it's really smart. What a call by Gen G. What a call. They're trying to catch him on the hex gate. They ran from Drake through mid to hex gate so they could go for Baron. What a fucking call. No, Viper can't do shit. It's gone. I don't have ult, but I'm trying. Baron is gonna be real dangerous times. He does sidestep. As now Keen is going to force out the skate. Oh, they don't have smite. Oh, Jesus. They can chase, but I don't think they'll get anything. Viper's too low. Doran has no ult. Because Peanut is not in the area. They have to try, though. It's a fair bit of AoE that they have going down, but they just focus the right targets. Yeah, they this get game's rid done. Of I think Peanut got and way too chunked. Toby comes in here to engage, that wall was really good. If Peanut was so on the other side of that wall and could just play the smite fight. Yeah. But look at his and HP. If Peanut was jumping in here, I actually think they could win this fight, Hamalai. Because then a Viper can play front, forward, not backward, right? The reason you have to dash back is because Kassante dies. Uh, I feel bad for Dora in this game. He's been the only frontline. I mean, Canyon just rolled Peanut this game. Look at Chovy CS. No way! <laughs> okay, he's going Dominic's third here, Viper. Viper has cleanse. Oh my god, he has balls as well. He didn't use it. Well, in goes Peanut for the first time. And uh, out goes Peanut. Zekka has been really invisible. Like, as much as Peanut is... Is gonna get immediately stunned. Um, Viper also dashing on over. Not as much as Peanut that is like the one that's obviously running it, you can see him die and you can yeah, check it. Zekka is like the silent there, inter like here. Two levels down, did nothing the whole game, got one assist on a Doran play. Never had push under his tower the whole game. Like, don't blame. I mean, as much as you want to blame Peanut for running it, like he he had no mid lane in this game. And his jungle matchups have been annoying. TP well, behind. All right, we might have a fight Let's here where Peanut and uh, Doran go in at the same time. No, Pe Peanut's CC'd. He's CC'd and he's 1 HP. And now in goes Doran. Okay, for fuck's sake. Viper, just send it, boy. Send it. Viper, just go in. Just try and make some magic. 
And Viper, he's oh, Viper is making magic. Oh, he's in there, Viper. Oh, for fuck's sake, he just got one shot. On the fucking noggin. Not a bad fight. Viper got entered by Seca again, man. He was going to kill Lucian, but Seca knocked him away. Oh, shit. Don't say Viper fraud. You see what just happened? To just go for the get the replay up! And get the replay! That was disgusting! Once again, just takes Viper out. This game <laughs> is so done. <laughs> well, Peanut does connect an arm. Get the replay up! Wow! No! Viper was about to make a montage here. Look at this! He's smurfing so hard. Lucian flashes away oh, here. It was, it was a good draft. He has a free there kill. Were, were Viper follows. Boom! <laughs> Just an ult. No! <laughs> oh man, Viper had both of them there. He would have traded one for two. But I guess Zeka tried to just get the kill with his ult, right? I get it, I get it. I don't want to blame Zeka, but like, fuck, man. Can Viper catch a break for once? Peanut! Peanut! What the f Yo. It's the same bands. They picked red side again. What the hell? They ban Lucian cover off now. What is going to happen? They ban, they ban Varus. They ban Kalista. Then what? First pick Sejuani again. Don't ban Sejuani. Don't give them Kalista. Don't give them Kalista. What are they playing here? Nautilus is up. I think first pick Nautilus is good. Ooh, well, they didn't like do it. Play... Can they play Drave and Nautilus into this? this? Is this what they're doing? Because oh. they could play Kalista Realm. Ah, oh, they're going to do Zaya Rakan. The, Wait, uh, what? They're going to do Zaya Rakan? Zaya said Juan is good. I mean, they should pick Nort 100%. I think Nautilus Talia is really good. Why are you denying Rakan? I mean, now they will be the ones to play Nautilus. I guess they're scared. Bro, don't pick Rakan. What are they gonna play? Zaya Brown? Who cares? Fuck Zaya Brown. Actually, Zaya Brown said Joanne is really annoying for Nautilus. Alistar! Okay. Is Kenyon gonna pick jungle or are they gonna drop? He could pick something like Lee Sin or Xin Zhao or, or his first choice of AD. They could do Karma, they could do Talia. Looks like they're talking to Kenyon, so maybe they're gonna pick jungle. Yeah, there's the Lee Sin. So now, do you pick Brown into Kalista Alistar? Do you pick Rakan into Alistar or do you pick Nort? Think, yeah, you just go, you just go Rakan. The light Rakan, classic. Please ban Talia, please guys, come on. If we're gonna play something like Akali, Tristanas, any mini champs, Talia is annoying. Oriana is also LeBlanc's annoying too. I'll allow that. Like I said last game, LeBlanc ban was good. But they're gonna. But oh my god, they don't play Hui, do they? So they're gonna ban Hui. I think LeBlanc ban is Akali ban is gonna cover off a lot. They could just do Akali Yone, or they yeah. Don't think Uriar Kasante are worth banning unless Keen's mentally scarred. Unless Keen's ban Talia, I don't care about Hui. They want to pick Kasante on four, but I don't think Seca has answers to Talia blind unless he's gonna play Irelia. Irelia, what is happening here? Renekton's open. Just pick Renekton on four now. Irelia is... I think Irelia is covering off... They're, they're gonna pick Talia! Zeka Talia? But he's just gonna play Oriana Zeka. Or is Oriana just not a thing now? And T1 just first pick it anyway. Ari's good on this patch. Jace would be good because they have banned Irelia. Wow. Ari, Lee Sin. Classic. Jace, ban, uh, Jace pick makes sense because of the Irelia ban. Malphite, slam it. Please slam Malphite, Doran. They have Ari with Kalista, Jace, Lee Sin. Please spam Malphite. Malphite is a mega pick. Please, please, please. please. Before. Please and go Malphite. No, man, please go Malphite. It's so it good. It's so well good. I promise. I promise Malphite's so good. I swear on Grump, on anything. Again, Just think. Oh, you fucking rat. Bro, Malphite into Kalista, insane. Into Jace, good. Into Lee Sin, good. Into Ari, good. She doesn't have that much damage. I think Aatrox is just going to get blasted. Maybe they should have just gone Renekton there. I get that they're scared of triple AP topside, but I think it is whatever. If you're going to pick an AD champ, I would much prefer Renekton. Wait, he's playing Spellbook Talia. What? What the hell? Peanut's 5-1, and though. Said you want to merchant this back. Oh yeah, Chovy Ari is one of his best. Why not Spellbook on Sejuani? You take Spellbook on Sejuani when you're against tanks. In jungle matchups where you're against damage dealers, you need Aftershock. I like the Zaya Rakan. It gives Hagerly a lot of playmaking. Zaya Rakan Sejuani is like the baseline for we can play the mid game pretty well. Just can't get countered quite easily. Because it's one damage threat on the triple, right? 
Dean gonna be able to Doran forced his phase rush now, so phase rush on cooldown, so when he ganks here. Okay, there's the acceleration gate. Let's see what they can actually catch Kane or at least get a flash. They get the ward in, and there's the winter's right. Phase rush trade for Aatrox W is always good if you have said you want to He should know that the least is top because Jace is not sure himself thinking. I think he's missing gold for steel caps on base. Yeah, I wonder if his base is like cloth armor, boots, uh, longsword, refillable or some shit. Go Does he have steel caps? Yeah, he's going to go pickaxe, Jesus Christ. Okay, Jigga Chad. They're losing both sides. Is it a Merc Treads Ari game? So he has cleanse on Talia now with the spell book. Obviously, he's sacking phase rush here and a few sorcery tree, but he's picked up a sorcery second so he can get some back. Given over there as well as the hand's not going to get knocked up, but of course Delight is just trying to make sure that they get a crash. And okay, he's just going to flash it, but Viper is nice going to be able to get the flash off. With the information nice he had, there, but they just get a free that was scary for Zaya. I think Genji, Genji's teams. roster. They really react it's really good, but I don't know if it's world's winning. Eventually back Their mid jungle is really strong though. They've got wards up, so they went shoe shopping together. It's very cute. That's cute. As Peanut is going to find Canyon, or as Canyon found Peanut, Shobi definitely has. As he does collect a glacial prison. Like mechanically, they're insane. Look at this. To they're use just that spirit rush pretty beautifully. Peanut does have to flash, but there's the kick flash onto the Sejuani. He's pretty tanky, but that is first blood going over to Canyon. He immediately goes down as it's a light that picks that one up, and now Gen G in an awkward oh, spot. Chobi. But Chobi is bouncing in and two out of two. the fight. The size of ahead will be like 20 actually after he catches that wave. He's putting uh, ends. Oh, yeah, lands no flash. Used here as the wall is just not quite nice play, Zeka. There we go, baby. He's only level five. His will he gave it to Viper. <laughs> really nice play from uh, Zeka here as well. Well, turns around after forcing Alistar out. The E here was really powerful to stop Chobi's re-engage here. I don't know if he timed it, but he E's here. And then that stops Chobi's re-engage on his dash. Like what Chobi just did, looks really small. But he moved up, cleared a pink, used his zombie ward to give Jace vision so he can push aggressively. Not only did he deny vision from Hamolife there, but he also gave his Jace vision to play a bit more up. If Jace doesn't have this yeah, push, he can't play up. Also, look at Hamalife's bot side vision. Yeah, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight wards. He has Merc's peanut. Up. Oh, they're trying to force his ult. And seismic shove actually gonna oh, he didn't get the E out in time. They're trying to force Ariel before Drake spawn, but they failed. Go and don't so TP the Drake, please. Toby, yeah, that's a trade -up in terms of the just TP back top and just fall forward. If he TPs the Drake, he's gonna lose his whole tower. The money. Have the TP top. And Thank God. Is in fact, it was a Q, can he steal it? Q's going to connect. And in he goes oh. and he steals it away. Oh, we saw that in slow motion, didn't we? As Canyon is still going to burn down. Oh, nice but flash by Viper there. Over to Gen G. Oh, the pulverize is he might die though. Oh, good flash by Pace. Base nice ult as well. Oh, into the, the stun. Mamma mia, Gen G. That was clean. Oh, that was beautiful. The mid bot of Gen G displayed that so well. How was it a nice flash by Viper? Because Lee Sin kick flashed Alistar here. into his head. Beautiful team fight or a kick flashed um, for a moment, it like, okay, Sejuani onto Viper, which would have knocked through, him up to give Chovy an angle to kill him. He flashed the kick flash. Did you not see the kick flash? Look the kick flash from Lee Sin. It would have knocked him up. And yes, he does go down here. Oh, it was trash, actually. Chobi the angle was really bad. I think he thought the angle was going to hit him, here, which means Chovy would get him. So okay, he thought... Wall, I think he thought the kick flash was going to hit him, but it actually missed by about a little bit. Chad, what do you mean I'm Viper's lawyer? I'm not trying to defend him. What are you on about? I thought that he flashed the kick flash. That's what it looked like to me. But I didn't realize the kick flash was missing. I'm not Viper's lawyer, bro. Yo, shut up. I don't give a fuck if he made a mistake or not. Exactly. That was the only thing I was going to say. Is that does feel good? Is he's oh. just going to go through the chains? Yeah. And Doran is now going to look to try and lock him down. Oh. He flashes over, but the charm is going to be there. Oh, oh delight! Battle dance, delight! Trying to find the opportunity. Oh, grand entrance! Not Give it to Viper. Viper is going to turn up. Doesn't have ult or flash. Oh, <laughs> Chovy. Delight's still gonna okay, be able to knock him up. He is still gonna be taken Jesus. down. They're gonna get three towers for that. And it was a good play by Chovy. Uh, he stalled Chovy them really long. The I don't really think it was fucking time. crazy what he did. He just realized he was getting ganked, yeah. so he so dashed forwards, and then he okay, flashed the Aatrox Q2 flash, up, which, which was pretty good. So here he's in an R, and he's gonna flash the Q2 flash and charm them. Nice save by Delight. Delight charms the Alistar to stop the combo, try and land the knockup, but he misses. Then Chovy goes for a Viper. Carry has a blast cone. Zeka ults on the chase, and then he is eventually taken down. 
Bottle four, of course, queuing Viper, putting him down. Oh, and now Doran is once again in trouble. He tries to get a bit of a combo here, but he's just going to go down. Lahens also, on the other side of the rift, is going to be taken out. And this has turned into a... Oh, uh, yes, Flash. Oh, my God, pretty, can they get him? A pretty bloodthirsty affair here yeah, can. between these oh two my squads. Oh, my God. Who is Doran's the, lawyer? Uh, so Whoever Doran's great, lawyer is, Doran's he's got a tough task. Yeah, so you can I hope he's paid well. I was his lawyer at Worlds last year. Uh, I retired after the first that series. That is well, I'm not going to get that first tower no in top. But this game has never side of looked close at all. The new Gen G is, is definitely better than the old Gen G. But Chovy seems to be a big factor in those differences. Yeah, Chovy is a bit of an international janitor. Whoever his international lawyer is, the choking allegations are crazy. But domestically, he's really good. Objection. Foundation. I think that's what he probably says. And I say Rizal. And he says, Doran eats half and then, his health bar of damage. And then the as judge well. says, overturn the, overrule the. It feels like we're in late game with how much action we've had, but we're really just cusp, we go on the cusp. Oh, well, that's going to be the knock up onto Canyon, but he still manages to safeguard his way out. And he stole the red buff. Pulverized lands only onto Peanut. Looks to try and get the stun as well. As Chovy, he's going to get the Feather Storm out. Oh, of Viper. Viper. Who does recall the blades? And that is going to be the kill onto the Ari. Outplayed nicely here, but Genji doesn't look like they're done just yet. Pazes needs to, to be flash, careful. Oh, the light missed. Delight. Oh, Pazes avoids his ex teammate as well. Maybe they can get Baron off this. Is going to be left for the Wolves and Viper in the end collects a double. Doran can we flash? Can we flash? More as Keen flashes forward. Pazes. Yes, I would have done the same, baby. That's my Aatrox. And Keen able to lock down the Aatrox. I don't know if they can do Baron. This chase is too much. Yo, Doran's lawyer just got some more evidence. Hell yeah. Really greedy by Genji. You have to understand Genji's comp is single target damage, Lee Sin, Kalista, Ari. And it doesn't scale that well either. So making mistakes like this is detrimental to their like game state. So now the game's gonna slow down a lot unless Genji put their foot on the gas and just force again, which can work too. And Chovy missed. Delight missed. Delight's griefing. Jesus Christ. By Chovy. Oh. Chovy misses Charm, the light gives him a kill. The light just completely inted it. He's griefing. Drake in one minute. They have to. Do they have to fight Ocean Soul? Does it matter? They're playing Kalista Ari Lee Sin. These champs are useless in 10 minutes. Maybe they'll give it and fight the Elder. I don't think this dragon matters. I would much rather they set up top wave and just play something like here. No, don't sleep on the Aatrox. Don't sleep on the Aatrox. Two item Aatrox can do big work when he's trying ways back they're thinking about setting up top wave but they're staying around mid they're having split calls here you can tell by their movement I'm not sure I think Zeka really wants to push top I think they should be pushing top they're gonna get some vision they should be pushing top and that's gonna make it they should have put vi to land. I can't, they can't really put vision down it's but definitely not over till it's over but now what that can happen is they can skirt so to Nash so and now they're in a problem if Hamalife lose Baron because top wave slow pushing Chovy could base TP top push out and then they can yeah there it is oh my god this is why they should have pushed out top and played for towers otherwise you get in this scenario where you're face checking into Alistar Jace poke they missed Talia ult ooh gives them access to mid nice Talia ult Where's Alistar flash though? Alistar wants to flash, I think. I feel like Alistar is looking for a Q flash or some shit. Oh shit. Actually didn't do as much damage as I thought. They're down 2k, but... I think the game is really even. Oh my god, Canyon is such a beast. Q's in and W's out to cancel it. He baits out Zaya and Sejuani ult. And now look at Chovy's angle. Yeah. And now they go back in. That is a point blank orbit deception. Still has the charm, but delight. Now they go back to Baron. They have to drop Baron. Just take the trade, drop the Baron. Sucks. They got outplayed. Canyon just rolled them. Canyon just rolled them. They griefed it. Hamalife should have been mid top on that sequence. Losing soul is much worse, much better than losing Baron. The vision was Q after Q, and this one. The fact that he hits that Q is why they're just able to <laughs> make sure Amwa don't out of the way there. Mm, the one four is really annoying because Ari can get the bot really quick. The uh, but they're not Shobi sinking waves, which is pretty good. So Hamwa can go bot to mid, to bot to mid, to bot to mid. They need to slow the waves down. So what Genji should do is not push these minions. They should just not hit bot wave and wait. And they are doing that. But now Viper is able to step up, which is not legal. But it isn't really. they can't get in here. Now Viper will just go mid. Maybe uh, mid tower dies though, it's so low. 
Oh, Viper wanted gold for something. Is he basing for rapid fire? Oh, Doran's cold. That's his final base. Well, there goes double in it for the game. What do they want to do? They're trying to defend it. I don't know about that. Oh, God. The quality of some of these fights are pretty disgusting. Oh, Jesus, Peanut. Oh, God, Viper panic. Okay, Keen. Okay, Delight, nice. Oh, Canyon. Some of those fights were disgusting. But Gen.G is just way better. T1 Gen.G on Saturday morning, chat. T1 Gen.G Saturday morning.